Oh. I'm okay. My baby. It's okay. I didn't sneeze. Gross. First of all, I'm gonna squash this shit right in the fuck. Fucking asshole before it fucking blows the fuck up. So, Cindy Winston, oh. by the way, I blocked him again on Twitter, but Cindy Winston tagged me to a video. On Twitter. I thought Twitter was banning all fucking videos and links for YouTube and all that other fucking shit anyway. Elon's a liar. <laughs> anyway. To a video that G-Man done. Saying, I hate my 11 year old son. Well, first of all, I don't have an 11 year old son. I have a 13-year-old son and a 15-year-old son, and they're about to be 14 and 15. 14 so and you're, 16. Oh, 14 and 16, sorry. Yeah. 14 and 16. Yes. So you're lying that you tried to, to put together. You didn't even do that right. You couldn't even get his age right. So how could you really know what's going on with my baby when you can't even get his age right? And to say I hate my child? I hate my child? We were laughing and giggling with each other the other, the other day. Yeah. I don't know about you, but me and my son, we're, we're tight. Okay, we're friends. He's so freaking cool. Mm -hmm. He loves all the freaking scary stuff, dude. Mm -hmm. Do you know how cool that I get to pass along to my to my underling that 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 the love of horror cinema and we get to talk about that stuff and we get to talk about games and all the other interests we have that together. Do you honestly think I hate my son when he's so fucking cool? Who the fuck do you think you are assuming so much about my baby? I don't even know what was said in the video. I don't fucking care. And if you're going to say that that it's because I'm with Jason, why I hate my son, because you're still trying to fucking break us up because you're a stupid loser. <sighs> May I remind you... Jason was having a really bad side effect from his drugs, and he went into psychosis. And not only that, he spent 13 days in jail. 13 days in jail. So what more do you want from the guy? What more do you want? You, you want him to lose his wife? You, Zachary is not bothered by Jason at all. They get along pretty good. Yeah. They're friends. I don't, I, like, it, it happened. He forgave him as soon as Jason said, I'm sorry. Yeah. He understood. He's a good boy. Like, everyone understood that it was a, 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 a bad problem with, you know, yeah. him not having his drugs, withdrawal. Yeah. Everyone knew that. Yeah. The cops knew it when they came. Yeah, the cops knew it when came. CPS knew it. Like, everyone fucking knew it. The boys knew it. Yeah. Because I think a 13-year-old and a 15-year-old can comprehend if someone's going through a mental thing. I think they're smart enough to do it. They're not fucking stupid. But yet, you want to go and say, I hate my 11-year-old son. You don't even get his fucking age right. So you don't really know Zachary that much. But you're spitting your fucking gums like you do. Because you're a stupid fuck, and you always will be a stupid fuck. And I always thought you were a stupid fuck, but I was polite. But I'm not going to be polite now, because this is going to be squashed on the ground. Because I, I don't hate my baby. 
I do not hate my baby, G-Man. You are a lying sack of shit. And he knows that's false. He better. He is making an openly he knows it's false statement. He is. He said to me on many occasions privately when, we, when it was just me and him that it's like, yeah, Shani clearly loves her kids. No shit, that's Sherlock. That's right. And that you were saying the truth with me, G. That's the, she loves her children. Clearly. No shit. Yeah. Clearly, you love your boys. And I've lived with you for years now. I know, baby. And I see your love for them over me, which is the way it should be. Yeah. It's always you. You're, I fought you. Yeah. Sure. When I was not right. G-Man said that? Yeah, he did. Apparently. Yeah, he did. Cindy Winston sent me a Twitter, uh, a, a link to YouTube that was from G-Man. And the title of it was, Shani doesn't love her 11-year-old son. But my son isn't even 11 years old. He's 13. Right. He don't even know the fucking age. Oh, my God. He knows him so well. Yeah, since he knows him so well, but you don't even know his fucking age, you stupid fuck. Did you not just tell anyone to not tag, etc., like, just yesterday? Yeah, I know. People don't respect my boundaries. Yeah. No, they then go and do it, actually. No. The things you say you don't No. Know. I don't hate Zachary. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So asinine. That child is so sweet. He is so sweet and innocent. Very. And he's so damn smart. Mm -hmm. And he's got my attitude and I love it. Off topic, when are we getting next Rev show? Who knows? That'll come when it comes, dude. That's the best I can give you at this point. You don't feel inspired. No. I've been extremely depressed learning the severity of the problems of the party I call home now. I'm very much in a crisis. Like, Come <laughs> back to the independent side, baby! No, I was a libertarian who I have learned God got me out of that because they're trying to lower the age of consent. Well, to come like, to the independent party. We just don't give a fuck on either side. The party of Ventura, huh? Yeah, the party of Jesse Ventura, the sexual Tyrannosaurus Rex. A man. Yeah. Yeah, I might change to independent next time I get my license done. I might. Yeah. I might. Fuck both parties. They're all assholes. I am so, but that's your answer. Like, I want to be, when I present something, when I come on here and I want to be like an Alex Jones type of individual, and I, can't, I don't even like using his name anymore because it's it, like he's disgraced completely. Oh, he's such a uh, liar and a half. Oh, my God. But he was my idol in terms of this. Yeah, but if he like, lied to to the court about certain things, what yeah. makes you think all the other things he said he wasn't lying about? Right. Well, that comes down to motivation, and I believe his motivation was to tell the truth of what he sees in history and what he sees in documents, in, in the government documents. Or maybe it's to be radical and get a coin. Well, that turns out to definitely be, I think, where it went. Well, good. He should be stripped of the billions. He's up to $1.5 billion in lawsuits now. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. That'll teach you to say you believe in Christ and lie. Uh-huh. I could read the dictionary. Daddy spanked and, you. And I get lots of views. Why? I, I don't get that. I'm not that, that, not that fascinating, man. Okay? I don't get that. You got a sexy voice. No. Oh, my God. All right, I never liked my voice. It was getting lower from cigarettes, though. So You have a nice voice, Rev. See, it's oh. a sexy voice. Well, thank you. You have that voice that makes the women... <laughs> oh, my God. That's why I liked it. Okay. Well, that's flattering. Thank you. Your voice and intelligence turned me on. Oh, baby girl. Mm-hmm. I just got scripture. I like G. I love Jesus. 
I just love Jesus. There we go. You know, you're cute. Peppy. We, we do look cute together. I love that. That makes life. That really makes life good. You guys that don't have a significant other need to get one because it does complete your life and no i'm not gonna be your another significant other get off my asshole g-man and dragnaut i want nothing to do with you stupid motherfuckers yeah you're not into it no nah. no you're, nah. you're just not sorry i'm not into narcissists no no the prideful the, the ones that think they're always right with absolutely no humility. Yeah. Not into that shit. There you go. Shannon's biggest turnoff. Because if the, my, my turn-ons are intellect and spiritual uh, stuff. Those are my biggest turn-ons, is intellectualism and someone who's spiritual. Uh, and both of you are, so, like, because of that, you're, like, my biggest turn-offs. There you go. Oh, thank you, Captain Ahab! But you wanted them at one... I never wanted drag! And G-Man, he was just merely why not type of fucking thing. <laughs> never was in love with any of them. Uh. <laughs> well, ancient god, I got sick of the bullshit. And I decided to go jihad on stupid motherfuckers who keep trying to ruin my fucking life when I'm trying to move on with my life. And I've learned in my life that sometimes you gotta fight in order to fucking survive. And I wanna get my shit together and do my fucking stuff, man. I wanna be able to live successfully, happily, without two motherfuckers who decided to get together and act into this let's shame the woman completely and and using an excuse that she's a terrible woman but really you're just two sexist motherfuckers who get off at harassing women and you use me as an excuse because you think I'm vulnerable or what you say G-man you like to choose easy targets I'm not a fucking easy target what you see is someone who's gentle and meek and nice and really it's not wise to keep poking at someone who is meek because eventually the meek will show you how they fucking fight and it's greater and better than you've ever even come close. Because I have Jesus on my side, and you don't! Whew. Hmm. Praise Jesus. You are meek. People say, oh, is Shani's meek? That's right. Meek? Yeah, right, Shani's meek. She is, though. Whatever, don't give a fuck. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you filthy animal. Exactly. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy Ooh. animal. <clears throat> Sorry. Jesus loves you. He does love me. Yeah. He knows I'm messy, but I'm cute. And I love him. That's right. What are you, three? Not me, not me, Greek, Greek. Okay. Wow. Wow. Dude, those were some bars, bro. Those were some serious bars, bro.
nuts. That's right, Ted. Jesus hits harder than you can. That's right. Praise Yeshua HaMashiach. <laughs> he's a great dad. He's not just a good dad. He's a great dad. I'm not a hymn singer myself. I really wish I got into a choir in a church. I wish I did do that. I never learned any of the hymns, but I, I like the old Rugged Cross. That's my I, my favorite hymn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The old rugged cross. That's you see how the little cowards that have been fucking trolling me, they fucking run now? I don't feel like being yelled at. Aww. Aww. I've been yelled at every day for over ten years. And you don't like being yelled at. Boy. One time with Shanny and they all go running and crying. Poor little babies. While I sit here silent Taking one hit, after another hit, after another hit. Pussies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pussies. <laughs> Make them run for the hills. That's right. Thank you, big old my milk. Big old milk 99. Big old milk. Shanny's got big milk. <laughs> Just being a little cute, sorry. Jesus also is my personal assassin for the lack of better terms. That's correct, Ted. <laughs> Jesus is a ninja. No, we don't have any more Shanty for Christ merch. Drag had it taken down by his trolls, by mass fl all flagging it for something. I, they were unique designs, too. They were. To the website, it was unique stuff I did. Do you have the Kit Kat shirt? Maybe. In my suitcase. It's possible. It's horrible. No, the hoodie is not new. It's old. That'd be awesome if you could market these. That'd be neat. Drag is a sad, sad little man with big old titties. Uh huh. My goodness. Because <laughs> mass flat? No. 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 I'd rather, I'd rather take them down on the intellectual side. Yeah, Shanny got her meds, thank you. Oh, yeah, the Cymbalta was delivered. I feel, like, freaking amazing. Oh, yeah, he's a lonely, pathetic dude. His his wife is going out always sleeping with other women while he's at home obsessing about me. Wow. <laughs> That's a bad place to be, man. Like, I even have to have a little sympathy for him on that. That's uh -huh. He deserves it because he keeps, you know what, maybe she wouldn't have been going after other women if he just stopped obsessing about me. And, and give her orgasms. Uh, yeah. yeah, and give her orgasms and the attention she wants. Like, bro, you got a beautiful wife and here you are giving me the attention? Pretty weird. Dude, you're a bad husband. That's weird. That's just weird. Look how these random Christians are coming in. Please give positive energy, not negative energy. No, 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 no. I'm going to be trampling over the scorpion because I need to get out of my system. Because it's just one hit after another hit after another hit. Eventually, Jesus flips tables too. Hmm. So let me flip my tables. I ain't doing anything bad to anyone. I'm just using my words. Speech. I'm bringing my saltiness. Let me speak. Don't censor me, bro. Or if he didn't harass her in... Yeah, exactly. I'm harassed by this dude every freaking day. Every day for ten years and then I'm told, you shouldn't say anything. Fuck you, man. I'm, I, I love Jesus and all, but there comes a time where you gotta stick up for yourself and not be a pussy. This is about self perverence This is about my family. Security. He's fucking with my life in real life. And I'm just supposed
supposed to be silent about it? I've been silent about it, and nothing's been done except it's getting worse and worse and worse. I gotta speak out. To silence me is to tell a victim to shut up and not speak out about their abuse. Yeah, Mrs. D is out there sowing her oats while D is at home alone talking to a wall with a camera streaming. Exactly. Exactly. I may be doing that, but at least I know where my partner is and I don't have to risk in STDs. Right? Silence is violence, no, but you can have some cooth. I don't want cooth right now. I don't need to give cooth to someone who just keeps tearing me apart as a person. How would you survive if someone was coming to you constantly? How would you react, lovely lady? How would you react? How would you react? You have CPTSD, then you would fight if you had CPSD, PTSD. You would fight for your life. You wouldn't let someone take advantage of you like that. Then spend time with your mother and get off the channel and stop telling me what to say. I can say what I want. This is my channel, lovely lady. I respect you and all, but this is my channel. cold and gross outside it's not as cold as it could be thank god yeah it's not snowy it's just rainy and yeah. wet and damp and gross yeah good i can say it in public my harassment is done in public and in private so can I speak or do you want to silence the victim you're telling me who you are the more you fucking argue with me over this Fine, I, I, I am this way where I'm angry at someone harassing me. Go away then. Go away. I think I'm pretty valid at being angry over someone harassing me for 10 fucking years. If you can't hear me being angry over being harassed for 10 fucking years, oh well. Oh well. That's your problem, not mine. Go somewhere else until I calm down. Go away. Go away and leave me alone. I'm giving you a time out, lady. You need to chill the fuck out and not put your trauma on me. Because I have enough fucking trauma. I don't need to deal with your fucking trauma. If my, if my trauma is triggering your trauma, don't watch me. Simple. But I'm going to vent. And I'm going to get it out of my system. And I'm going to tell everyone what this son of a bitch is doing. And not have someone try to guilt me over fucking saying the fucking truth of me dealing with something that I've been dealing with for ten fucking years. And being silent about it. You should be enraged instead of trying to shame me. You should be enraged and going and being like, you need to silence this person. You need to tell this person to leave me alone. You need to try to be, try, try, to, try to calm me down and try to help me. If you actually care about me, but no, instead it's shaming me because I'm raising my voice. I'm Italian, I'm Irish, I'm Russian, I'm native. Don't you fucking tell me I can't raise my voice. It's how we communicate. It's called passion. Learn it. And when you do speak out, they blame the victim. Exactly, erratic. Exactly. It's complete and utter gaslighting. Yeah, I wonder how that...
that would feel Ted. He's getting he's getting random fucking harassing mail too. He said, I wonder how he would react if he started getting random visitors and harassing mail. Yeah, how would you react? Would you be happy? Would you be like, guys, you know what? I'm being really harassed right now. And I just does that sound like does that sound normal to you? No, it doesn't. They want me to be silent because their asses are getting caught right now. And they don't want it to be talked about because they don't want to be caught over to the shit they've been doing to me for fucking years now. You want me to be silent when every goddamn day I keep getting these big fucking stacks of mail? You want me to be silent over that? And not be pissed off over it? Or random people knocking on my door and then running? People yelling shit out and obscenities out to me in the freaking uh, 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 streets. You, you, you want me to be silent and, and be kind when people go and call the police on me all the fucking time? And then a bunch of cops show up thinking something happened and nothing fucking happened. And then they're like, what the fuck? You're wasting public resources like that. What if someone needed them at the time? But but your stupid ass sent them to my house and the person that should have gotten the help couldn't get the help because you wasted resources like that because of your false calls you're giving to people and your false reporting. Am I supposed to be silent over that? Am I supposed to be just happy about that? Exactly. Abusers always try to silence the victims. I ain't doing it anymore. And then I have people be like, coming to me in my DMs being like, aren't you afraid that since he's been doing this for you to 10 years, that he's going to go and kill you? I'd like to see him try. I, I have been so broken over the years. You know what, dude? You know what, dude? Why don't you do it? Do it. Do it. Do it. Try. Try. Just try and we'll see what fucking happens, dude. Just try, since you're so fucking obsessed with me. We'll see if I fall in love with you. Guess what? It probably won't. You'll probably get a vacuum to the fucking face. Motherfucker. Oh, fuck off. I have every right to be on the internet like everyone else. Oh, but you're still staying on the internet even though you're being harassed. Why should I stop doing what I love because I'm being harassed? I'm not responsible for these people's bad behavior. You know why I don't stop? Because I'm not a coward. That's why I don't stop. I'm not a coward and I'm not gonna quit something because people want to bully me out of it it's just more victim blaming Shani don't fall for it exactly if anything you have more of a right to be online than your abusers thank you he's trying to say he sent that guy to your house to do a smell check you sent someone over my house. So he's admitting he's sending people to my house now. What an idiot. See? Thank you. We should try to recreate this yeah. and sell it. Would you like that? Definitely. <laughs> my cool ass merch. It looks cool. <laughs> It's dank lo looking. It's not dank smelling. I wish it was still, but, you know, it's been a long time since I've been in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I have stayed asking why don't we report this? these vids were blatant harassment. If everything they said was true, they're on another level of shittery. Well, I mean... <sighs> I can't tell people to go report anything like if you if you feel you need to report a video you can report a video so like
No, the trolls will find me if I start a new page. But then again, I'm not going to restart something I've already done. And already built into. That would be dumb. how he gets away with literal harassment it's how he words things I think with people he's a complete narcissist so he's really good at manipulating people it's obvious he's really good at manipulating people I mean look how many people listen to everything he says like it's a gospel it's like this dude acts like he knows my life and it's like he doesn't even know me he doesn't even know me he just knows me from online that's all and and qu questioning my parents and everyone that's ever lived in my life because that's what normal people and youtubers do is talk to family members right they contact family members and stuff that's what normal uh people on the internet do right is contact other people's family members am i am i right is that what normal people do but he does it and he gets away with it I was just a Christian reading the Bible on YouTube. That's the truth. That's twisted to go real life and reach out to family members. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been dealing with this for 10 years from this dude. And I'm done. I'm done. 10 years is enough. I'm not going to go into 2023. Fucking not fighting this anymore. Uh uh. Wow, this dr drag guy just harasses people for being Christian. That's gross. Oh, yeah. Twenty twenty three year of Shanty. What are your plans? To get on my feet. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Is to get on my feet. I need to get on my feet. I want, I, 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 I want to be able to, like, have at least a couple rooms for my kids. So if they want to come over, they can. You know? I can't believe he's trying to make that guy who helped you look like a bad person. <laughs> <clears throat> I know. I know. You bet my family hated this guy? No. He made them hate me. And and make make it seem like I'm this absolutely crazy vile person. You get on your feet. You got this. I'm hoping. I need to. He lied and said your house smells like sweaty undercarriage and unwashed swamp rear. Really? My house smells like this shit, man. That he ironically gave us. I spray this shit all the time. I'll spray it now. And 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 look, my my floor is like all freaking clean and shit. Like, what the fuck? So you know, you, 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 I don't know how a clean ass floor looking like that can make it smell like swamp rear, but whatever. No, here's the thing. He knew my mom was abusive, so he used used it against her. He saw some crumbs on the floor. Oh no. Oh no, I got caught for a couple crumbs.
No, I'm not going to be perfect. We have a lot of people come to our house. He's crazy. I'm telling you, man. He's got people all over the place. He's spying. Yep. I'm spying on us. I don't know how he convinces people to think that it's okay to act like this. No. It's weird. It really is. But it needs to stop, or I'm just going to keep complaining about it over and 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 over again and show all the evidence. The crumbs somebody condemned the house. I know, right? He's also bragging he's going to do an late do an interview with a lady of the evening that tried to talk to Jason. I mean, it's going to get better and better, I guess. I guess so. Who's this lady of the evening exactly? Well, that's a good question. So they got to hire a woman to act like something happened. Probably. Wow. I, it doesn't surprise me, though. This is a nice lawsuit, though. It's defamation. It is complete defamation. It's definitely defamation. The place in Colorado was fucking ransacked by them. I keep saying it. I know. The cops know it. Well, most of my viewers who see my cooking videos knows that it's true. Why don't I respond to you on Twitter anymore? Because I'm not on Twitter a lot. And I, I didn't notice you were... And all you ask is if I have a sandwich. So... Whatever. Yes, I did yarn fix. Like, who tapes the inside of someone's house without their consent? Who does that? Criminals. Guess what criminals can also do? Mm -hmm. Ransack. Mm -hmm. There's Tippy Tippy. Shady kept the house clean, but the shirtless man trashed it. See? Old viewers know, man. Yeah. I loved that place. What's with the title of the stream? G-Man, going around, uh, made a video saying I hate my 11-year-old son when I don't even have an 11-year-old. I have a 13-year-old. He doesn't even know my son that well. He can't even get his age right. So you know it's a lie if, if, if he can't even get the fucking age right. That apartment was straight baller. I know! Oh, the washer and dryer was one of those high-tech things, man. It was nice. And the garage was pretty, and we had a pretty little mudroom all set up, so you could do, or I could do our things in quiet without being disturbed. Bye. And William loved it. William loved it. You took that away from my son, you son of a bitches. William loved it, because it was almost like he had his own apartment. Mm -hmm. Because he had his own floor. And Zachary loved it because he had this, the hugest room in the house. Yeah. Real nice. With a huge shower. And and he had this whole freaking, like, uh, ball pit full of plushies and yeah. balls. And you took that away from my kids. Uh, we're just doing this because we're teaching them for being drug addicts. No, you're punishing my children of having a nice life. Because Drag is jealous that I'm getting attention and he's not. What a bitch. What a competitive bitch. Fucker. They even poured stuff in your fridge to make it look bad. I know they did. 
How did we- Oh, Great Scott just outed himself! How did we take it away? Oh! We found out that we weren't evicted from our apartment. They put eviction stickers on each of our doors saying that we got evicted. So we thought we had to be out of the house in three days. It was a lie. It was all set up by them. So they made us leave us our place in a hurry so they could fucking ransack our place. We have told people that they've done this to us. Yeah, you saw a fake letter that I was reading off because I thought it was real. But if you call the number, it's a fake number. I'm so mad over that. I hate them for that. You see how they all come in trying to defend themselves and they break who they usually are and then they start saying, we, 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 we. Fucking cult members. Why are you clumping yourself into people? I didn't know you were part of them. We. You outed yourself, stupid. You outed yourself, stupid. They admitted they printed the eviction notice to be the same color as your hair at the time. They admitted to it. What? Wow. Girls, go, Ghost Girl did the same thing earlier and was stayed silent since. I said something must be afraid of the shanty smiting. Yeah, right? So you evicted yourself thinking that a pretend eviction notice was actually real. Yeah. We didn't want the cops showing up and bullshit like that. Thank you, Stacy. I'm just, Stacy, I'm just telling everyone, like, the details of all the harassment I've gone through. Where are you living? Why would you ask me that, Stacy? Where are you living? My God, woman, too personal. Exactly, Azrael. We were using our squatter's rights and trying to pay everything back, which I would have done if they didn't take my YouTube channel. I hate them. Depressing, really depressing. <laughs> God is gonna get them though. Yeah. God will will avenge this. Yeah. And I think he's beginning to. Yep. But you're making money on Twitch. Yeah, I'm just beginning to for it to for it to be yeah. <laughs> somewhat livable. It's not, it's not where it needs to be, but it's, yeah. yeah, especially this month. I did really good this month, but I haven't gotten the money for it yet, but, um, I'm trying to just make money doing what I need to, what I know I can do and what I love to do so I don't feel stressed out over that stuff. Oh, I'm not evicted. No, I'm not evicted. <laughs> Don't, no, no, Stacy, I'm not evicted, honey. <laughs> like, why does he always have his gross his shirt off? It's gross. Nobody wants to see that ashy. Oh, my God, dead. 
<laughs> He's so pissed right now over that, being doxxed. He's so pissed. Being doxxed? They doxxed him for being friendly to me. Oh, it's him. Yeah. Okay. That's just so wrong. How do they get people's information like that? Kiwi Farms. It's insane. They're stalkers. It, it, they, they took it down from all these um, places for a reason because it's it's putting human life at threat. Yeah. That's insane. Like, people have committed, you know, they, they kiss themselves because of this site. And I think that's their purpose to do, is they want you to kiss yourself. If you get what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see a crochet stream? I have my crochet next to me, actually. <sighs> Kiwi Farms is not back up. Definitely not on Chrome. Thank you, Puff Stitch, for the tier one sub. For gifting. Oh, you gave it to Puff Stitch. Sorry. Who who gifted it? An anonymous gifter. Okay. Thank you, Stacy. Aw. All the love to you, baby girl. You go on Kiwi Farms every day? How? How? You gotta have some kind of, like, probably go through some kind of Linux system or something like that in order to get to it. Or, like, Firefox browser. Or Firefox browser. What browser are you using, bro? Kiwi f is on Telegram app. What a piece of shit app. I'll never support that app. Kiwi Farms is a website that has, that stalks people. And um, makes plans to do things to people. You know Linux? That's cool. Yeah. I I very much know all those things. <laughs> College educated in it, actually. Uh, it's like a Wikipedia of str streamers and people who troll them. Yeah. No, if I ban them, I ban them for a reason, Ted. Don't come to me with other people trying to message you over shit. I don't care. I'm done playing these stupid unban me games, and then I get insulted for a fucking hour by the same people who say unban me. Fuck them. No, we're not getting the snowstorm yet. All we're getting is just wet, m ugly weather. It's pretty much missing us, this storm. It looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> Make them pay. Aww. I will never make a video game. That's my son's territory. Yeah, that's how it is, Wula. Fear. <laughs> make a business out of unbanning people. Amaranth could. <laughs> she could. She could. I'm not making a game. It's a bonkers. So. No, I'm not. Shani is literally these people's claim to fame. They'll pay. Yeah, right? <laughs> no joke, Shannon. You could, too, with how these relentless... These, yeah, I know, right? How relentless they are. Mm-mm. They make it confusing on purpose.
Tippy took an edible. Woo! Tell me when you're tippy tippy. He doesn't have a life. I'm I'm his life. He's like a bad boyfriend you can't get rid of. And then gets all stalkery and weird and shit. Just 25? This is going to be a nice ride. I don't know what to do, Ted. And I'm not afraid. Brain it. I got nothing to lose. And I'm fine with that. You say movie bros. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just done at this point, man. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> people are leaving YouTube to try tw twitch in droves lately I smell a mass exodus coming yeah because of all all of the the hate they allow on YouTube you can't get away with that stuff here on twitch they'll kill you your channel real quick I think people are saying that stuff just to scare me frankly and I'm it's just fear ain't gonna work anymore for me Aw, your cats are cuddling. You got your Gavin. This is a boy. He's like, okay, we get to cuddle times. Cuddles? He's a good boy. He just has a big smile on his face with lovey eyes. I know. He's like, I love my daddy. I love him. <laughs> Makes me feel better. Do, 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 do. I wonder what Ted is private message in Rook Salt. Probably, I am a troll. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe. 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 I don't trust anyone. You can't. No. Shanny, think about the streams. What do you mean, Donkelberg? Later, effing trap. Oh, okay. What's going on? I'm just chilling right now. I'm just chilling. I said what I needed to say to those idiots. I need to stop that attacking Shanny shit. Because they're just looking dumb. Thank you, Woola. Shanny has a pretty good spidey sense for them. She's been dealing with them dumbasses for so long. Yeah, I have 10 years experience dealing with dumbass trolls. It's just certain little things they say and stuff, you know. They're always personal. They're always personal. They're always, like, have, like, this passive aggressiveness to them. But I'm very patient with trolls, unless they just flat out fucking just like, um, come out and do something blatantly f crude. But most people are very subtle at that stuff. And I just wait and watch. While being polite. <laughs> and don't take offense, I do that with everyone in my life. Because I've had so many people screw me over in life that I just, I wait and watch. Okay, you're in my life right now. 
All right, uh, I'll see if you screw me over if not. If you don't screw me over, you're an awesome person. If you screw me over, you're a piece of shit. That's how I evaluate people. Yeah, Wula, you should look that out for the Reese's Cup. I, I, I'm. This is like... And I'm not kidding you. This is like m my most favorite cup I think I've ever gotten. You too? Yeah, it's really good. I fucking, I, I love this cup. <laughs> it's like the perfect size. Yeah, it is. Perfect. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just like just right. Why the title on the stream? Well, I'll repeat myself again, but then I'm not going to repeat it again. But, um, G-Man made a video saying I hated my 11-year-old son, but the fact is, is I don't have a son that's 11-year-old. I have a 13-year-old, and I don't hate my son. And I wanted to nick that one in the butt before everyone came to me and being like, You hate your child! No, I don't. No, thank you, Ted. <laughs> I don't think so. Because usually when I get up, it's to go pee-pee. <laughs> All right, let me rephrase. I don't understand how a mother could hate their kids. Yeah, right? You know, that's a lie even even from the start, man. Yeah. Well, it's like I gush about my boys a lot, I think. Yeah, enough. Don't make and I don't have a favorite. I love them equally. I don't play favorites with my sons. I ain't doing that shit. I refuse. How am I feeling with my medication now? So much better. I don't feel like I'm sizzling from the inside. <sighs> well, I guess you do rethink life when you're el elbow deep inside of a horse. I guess that's true. I haven't been elbow deep inside of a horse, but I've been elbow deep inside of a cow trying to pull out a calf. Exactly, Wula. Yeah, I lived on a farm. I did, I got to deliver a calf. It was still birth. That's why we had to pull the calf out the way we did. But yeah, I did deliver a calf. I was 13. Living in Black uh, Mountain, North Carolina. No, 14. I was 14 when that happened. Sorry. 14. Oh my God, my baby. He's purring, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I want to live back on a farm. I, I don't... Shady so young and has lived multiple lives of stories she must have. Yeah, I've I've had I've I've had an interest in life actually. I really have. Oh, he did we didn't butcher the cows. The the farmer um who owned the cows, but we we, we helped him with the cows. Um 
His name was Sherman. He was so cute. Um, but he, uh, he, he said he, he has the cows because he likes to watch them. So he liked being friends with the cows. And that's why he had the cows. And that's why we helped take care of the cows. And he taught us how to teach, you know, taught us how to take care of cows and stuff. It was because he liked to watch them. And, you know, he was about 80 something. So, you know, we, we were just fine with taking care of them. We were living in his house and his, on his land and stuff. And, He'd come over from his other house and take care of the cows, and then we'd take care of the cows and chickens with him. It was, I, I loved it. They are the sweetest animals. They love being pet and loved. They, lo they love fruit. I love giving cows apples. They're so cute, and they're just so grateful you give them food. They're so cute, and they used to eat. They used to eat the blackberries on on um on that you know was on the fences. They loved blackberries. You just see their big old tongue like curl out and grab a blackberry. And um, there was this one time where the bull got loose out of the pen, and we were like me and my sister and my brothers. We actually like were hit hiding in my parents bedroom when that happened because we were like home alone so we had to call our parents up and our parents had to call sherman and and they had to get them the bull out because they brought the bull in because you know it's mating season and stuff so he wanted to get all the calves um but the bull got loose, and, you know, if you know a bull during mating season, they can be pretty fucking aggressive. So. It, it's like, hide. We didn't know what to do. We were scared, though. Like, came out right to our, like, glass frickin', um, uh, dining room. Uh, at sliding door, and we were just like freaking the fuck out. No, I haven't ever tried to milk a cow. I didn't get that far in my farming. No, I didn't do live cover or artificial insemination. I didn't do that. Even though I know how it's done, it's kind of interesting. Sorry, farm work is jam. I could talk about this all day. Oh, okay. Well, the thing is, is like, in order to artificially inseminate a cow, you have to simultaneously have, you know, this big rod that's full of the semen, right? And you have to put it in the, the cow's hoo-ha while your fist is in her rectum and you're like stimulating her. I know it sounds so gross while putting in the seat. <laughs> to me, I just don't know if I could do that to a cow. like it they will let you know that's true though hi still shorty I'm doing okay had to take care of some trolling and some liars that's why it's titled the way it is but nah man so are you going to tell any everyone why you all are are always lying oh no they're saying the same thing they say all the time that I'm always lying because, you know, it's, it's, it's really a normal human trait for them to always lie, right? Weirdo. Ever gotten kicked? No. Thank God. I was afraid of that when I was pulling out that calf, though. It's, it's so slimy, that shit. 
Holy crap. It wasn't a lie. You just described it perfectly. Thank you, Rook Salt. Enjoy, Yammy. I mean, people do lie. Yeah, but they don't lie all the time. That's pretty dumb sounding, don't you think? That's a pretty stupid question. Anyway, have you established yourself as a trustworthy person? What? What a weird way how to ask a question. That's some weird language there, Murph. I know, right? <laughs> Have you established yourself to be a trustworthy person? I, I, I think I'm honest. I'm pretty sure I'm honest. I have no reason not to be honest. Why do you have to trust a stranger on the internet? You don't. That's dumb too. But why assume a stranger on the internet is lying about talking about their life? Because, I, I mean, I think it's just jealousy at the point that, like, I have life experiences and they don't. Like, all creators don't own anyone the truth. Most creators lie or have cover stories and stuff. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true at all. Oh my god. No! It's snowing. Yeah. Ew! It's gonna happen eventually. Ew! Usually, the pe I've noticed this in my life. Usually the people who go out and start accusing other of things are usually guilty of the things they're accusing others of. Like, you're doing this. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Maybe you are. It's all about the invalidation game and trying to trigger someone who's mentally ill. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know. Hi, watermelons. You didn't announce yourself, lady. You're going to finish scratching yourself and then announce yourself? Hi. Hi, watermelon. Hey, watermelon. Meow. <laughs> I don't think you're lying. Who could over-exaggerate someone stalking them? Yeah, exactly. That's stupid. I don't think you're lying. I just wish people would enjoy listening to your stories. Me too! Shani, will you unblock everyone for Christmas? I don't know yet. There's a lot of them on the naughty list. <laughs> Block everyone for Christmas. Shani's 24-hour silent out silent 24-hour stream. Mm -hmm. I'm just completely quiet for 24 hours. Yeah, tomorrow I'm doing a 24-hour stream. Aw, oh, bless your heart, Dixie. Hi. How you doing, pretty girls? You want to show yourself? You want to show to yourself? Yeah. Your camera shy, baby goes. Look, you're pretty. You're the pretty goes. Yeah, you're the pretty goes. You're the pretty goes. You're the pretty goes. All right. She's like, nope. All right. N nope. <laughs> <laughs> Watermelon's like, screw it, I'm done. 
I'm done. You guys got enough of me. How long am I planning to be, be on the stream? I don't know. I'm probably not going to do it much longer because I kind of want to rest up before my streaming tomorrow. Can you make an Amazon list? Uh, maybe. I'll see if I can do it. <laughs> Absolutely. You've been working on girl rest up. Yeah. Oh, Azrael says Gavin is clearly the superior kitty cat. <gasps> Gavin, he's just more camera friendly yeah. and and cuddly. Yeah. Watermelon's like screw it. I want to love. I want to get love when I want to get love. I want to get cuddled when I want to get cuddled. I'm a diva. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast, fellow. Yeah, Woody, it's okay, hon. It's okay. Spend time with your family. <laughs> That's true, Pello. Watermelon is plotting to get rid of me so she can have Rev to all to herself. Gavin, you're on the list, too. Mimi, I see you. I had leftover pizza for breakfast. I'm in my pajamas. I'm in goblin mode today. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about the Discord, the bad Discord thing? Well, I did have a Discord for Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, something as simple as Animal Crossing. So I got a bunch of the girls you know, with Animal Crossing and we're like posting all our like Animal Crossing stuff and it's nice and sweet and cute and loving. And what does Drag do? What does that son of a bitch do? He spams my whole Discord with a guy being shot in the head and like this like seizure like inducing like Nazi s symbols all over my Discord. And I got sick and I didn't know about it for like two days and everyone left. It was disgusting and I just, I just closed down the whole discord cord and said, no, I ain't doing this again. It was horrible. It was like an actual guy being shot in the head. Like, why would you even have that on your computer? They're psycho. You got rid of your kids for a week. I feel free. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Freedom! You can walk around your house naked. Aw, uh, you didn't miss me? It's okay. I missed you and Rev. I miss. Oh, oh, did I miss you? Yeah, it's a bunker. You were gone? I didn't even know you went missing. Gavin, sorry, it's hard to keep up with the chat sometimes. My eyeballs can only see so far. Really? You don't know how you're typing with no hands? Magic man. How long have I been on Twitch? About a year or two, something like that. I wouldn't know Salt Webster. But it's really fucking stupid to uh, try to contact a man with ties to uh, the Masons. Just saying. It's really fucking stupid to harass his family members. I'm just saying it's pretty fucking dumb. 
I can't make snow angels. There's no snow on the ground. It's all wet. I don't care. He just wants attention. Stop giving me information about these people or I will block you. I will block you. Because I'm really done listening to what this person has to say and how they're stalking me and, and they're admitting on fucking camera to stalking. Like, why are you telling me this? Are you reporting their channel for stalking and threatening and intimidation? Report their channel if they're doing that stupid shit. Don't come to me and talk about it. Report the channel. It's that simple. If they're doing that shit, report them. Why are you coming to me? You think I can fix things? I don't know who this fucking asshole is. That's what I'm thinking. People just keep trying to stir up drama. I know. They're drama whores. They're addicted to it. They're fucking freaks. Like, whenever I see a video that I know that goes against terms of service, I'm always reporting them. You know, because that stuff shouldn't be on YouTube, period. And it shouldn't be on Twitch either. Like, it needs to stop. The harassment, the hating on people, it needs to stop. That's why... That's why the Republicans are losing the way they are right now, because people are really fucking sick and tired of extremism. And that's what you stupid weirdos are, are extremist hate haters on a woman who's done absolutely nothing to you. No, they found a way how to rig the system to false flag everyone down, Woola. I don't know if YouTube's f fucking changed it the way it works, but... They know how to do it and take someone down. I think they haven't. They took Negs down. So, whatever. Should I go get you drinks? You want to go out there? Well, I, I, I'm just thinking of you, honey. Just thinking of you. When I get off this thing, we'll talk about it, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Love you. It's scary when people go in real life. Yeah, it's psychotic. They're too personal. Like, dude, stop. Mind your business. I've never been to a Wegmans. Great. Never been to a Wegmans. Good yeah, everyone says it's awesome. Yeah, they're great. My Uncle Paul got fired from Wegmans. <laughs> uh, we all get fired at least once in our life. I've been fired before. I've been fired a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Most of the jobs I left, I just quit. You know, just like, fuck this. My, like, borderline got the best of me and I quit a fucking job and then I regret it. I hate that part of me. It really does, timeline. Best food store ever? Yeah, Jason says the Chinese food there is amazing. Yeah, it's yummy. Got good sushi, too. My God, all my Duluth friends are now going on freaking TikTok. When I'm done with the stream, rewind it back. I've explained it so many times. I ain't doing it anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I ain't doing it anymore. <laughs> You're like, enough. 
I'm done. I, I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so traumatizing, I swear to God. You see me, I'm constantly checking over my shoulder and stuff and thinking that someone's going to fucking let you. Fuck me. That's not how people should be living in their homes. Tartarus, I really want you to think that question really hard. I'm talking about stalking and you say something like that. How do you think I'm going to look at you, dude? Like I'm trying to make you troll better. I be jamming in the name of the Lord. <laughs> troll better. If you can't be a better person, at least troll better. You gotta up your game, trolls. I'm onto your game. You gotta find different techniques because it's the same stupid shit over and over again. I like how, how how you can be so clearly sarcastic through your text. Your clear vote skills need to tune to my guy. Yeah, right. Jamming in the name. No, that's Bob Marley, bro. That is that new jamming in the name of the Lord. Oh my God! No, that's Bob Marley. And the waiters, or the whalers. When someone makes you feel really freaking old. Yeah. Bob Marley and the whalers. Gavins. <laughs> Stop trying to dox location. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, apparently anything you ask is trolling. No, asking my location is 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 really a good indication to be like, what? Huh? Or or asking, let's see where how where you live outside or where you are outside. Uh what? Huh? What bro? Asking personal things. Wanted a view, not a location. You do realize there are people out there that look at your background and can find exactly where you are by the background you are in any picture or video you put out there, correct, sir? You do. You are aware people can do this, right? Because if you're not aware of it, you should be aware of it because all the pictures you take outside, people can track you real easily that way. Because I have. You gotta be smart, man. Boy. That's why I strip XF data, boy. IT knowledge. Well, then why did you ask me to look outside, dude, if you have said IT knowledge and I'm talking about being stalked? Come on, man. You gotta do better than this. I, I caught you. Raise your hands up. Be like, okay, I got caught. You got caught. All right, Tartarus. All right. My eyes on you, though, man. Have you, you have tracked people from a picture of where they are? No, I've had people do it to me. I don't do that fucking weird shit. I don't care enough about people to do that shit. Yeah. 
who's, hey, Shani, without looking it up, who's in the Rat Pack? Uh, that, the Brat Pack or the Rat Pack? Because there's two different generations. There's the one with um, Sammy J Davis Jr. And what was it? Um, Dean Kelly. Uh, uh, or No, Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Uh, uh, Sinatra. Uh, who else? I said Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah. But the Brat Pack, that's Mary Ringwald, um, uh, 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 Charlie Sheen, um, Judd Nelson was one of the Brat Pack, um, Emilio Estevez, um, uh, oh, uh, 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 what is his name? Ah, uh, he played Daniel in fucking, um, Stargate. Ah, uh, what is his name? Judd Nelson? No. Stargate. In Stargate. He was also in Wolf. What is his name? Uh, Snyder? 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 No. Ah, uh, what is his name? It's driving me nuts. Rob Lowe, yeah, but no, I'm not thinking of Rob Lowe. Uh, what is his name? He was also in The Secretary. Um, yeah. He always plays a bad guy. Yeah. But he didn't in Stargate. He was the dude with the glasses who... What is his name? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. <sighs> yeah, Demi Moore also. James Spader! Thank you, Captain Ahab! Oh yeah. my god. Yes, James Spader. He's also part of that. Like, all the people that are, like, from Bre Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink and The Lost Boys, they're all part of the Brat Pack. Anthony Michael Hall or Anthony Michael... He, Anthony Michael Hall, yeah, he's yeah. part of that. And he's a peer. He beat Trisha Paytas! That's horrible. He's Dave Davidson. Yeah, he's fuck him. Freddy got fingered. <laughs> are you Dave Davidson? <laughs> I'm looking for Dave Davidson. Hey, Shani, who's Garfield's owner? John. John Arkbuckle. John Arbuckle? Yeah, Garfield's owner. Yeah. Okay. I just watched The Breakfast Club and 16 Candles last night. Oh, nice! <laughs> Why did you just know that, though? I like Garfield. <laughs> Jim Davis is the creator of Garfield. I didn't know that. Hello, Alfie. How are you, Alfie? Snoopy or Garfield? Probably Snoopy. Snoopy. Probably Snoopy, because he comes with Woodstock, and I love Woodstock. Yeah. Snoopy and Woodstock are the best. I rewatched Lord of the Rings Fellowship yesterday. Gandalf is my favorite. Yeah, he's great. Gandalf's the reason why I learned how to do smoke rings. Ha! <laughs> Because I was reading, I was reading The Hobbit, and they were talking about the smoke rings that Gandalf did, and I'm like, man, that's such a cool thing to do. I want to do that stuff. So I practiced and practiced and practiced until I could do smoke rings, because I wanted to do it like Gandalf, or like the caterpillar dude on freaking um, uh, 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 Alice in Wonderland. And the, uh, uh, another reason why I choose Snoopy is I love Charlie Brown. I love peanuts. peanuts. Who ate their boggers in Breakfast Club? Huh? 
Eight um, care bo boggers. What the fuck? I that that girl that does the dandruff stuff. She was into gross stuff, right? Like she was. Oh boogers. boogers! Oh, he said booger. Oh, I don't remember her name. I don't know her name. I never remember her name, Ugh. but I know the actress. Yeah, I know who who you're talking about. The gothy girl. Kinda. Yeah. She's like poor and just poor. Like dark though. Dark and poor. Emo. Yeah. Emo bitch. You've been broke lately thinking about selling blood plasma? Dude, it's not that bad. It's selling plasma. Good gig. It is a good gig. <laughs> if we could get to it. <laughs> I, I cannot give plasma. Because my veins are fucked up. Anyway. I tried too, and I was sad. I was like, but I want the monies. <laughs> Give me the monies. Cabin boy. No, it's not Jonar. Error, I'm playing Friday the 13th. Twyla is trying to teach me. I've never played that game. I have it. The Yeah, the new one. Yeah. The new one, yeah. Yeah, CSL is... I'm always getting emails from CSL. But we don't have a car to get to it. <laughs> I'm screwed right now. It's fucking shit. I know, it's in another town. Yeah. Locked down with fucking fees, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. But it's good that it's off the road, of course. Yeah. Uh, you know... California girls are unforgettable. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Hi. Oh my god. I have to look at all my looks. Am I like perfect? No, I'm not. Oh my god. Do you see this hair right here? Yeah. Oh my god, this hair right here. I look so fucking horrible. Oh my god. Those are California girls. Okay. And it's like... It's okay to be a messy bitch. You'll actually enjoy your life a lot more if you're a messy ass bitch and not care about how the fuck you look. I mean, I, I damn well know I have shown... People, I can put myself together very well. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. But even though I know I have natural beauty, I just don't care about how I look. Because my mind, my soul, it's greater. And that's what I'd rather be known for than my beauty. Whatever. I want to be valued about who I am, not for the body I was put in. <laughs> the mind is true beauty. Exactly. My mind is rotten and fried, but I'm still pretty cute. Exactly, same. Same. I'm a I'm I'm a beautiful disaster. Yeah. That's a sign, isn't it? Just completely broken. I'm sorry, Mandy. Beautiful Disaster by 311. Yeah. Is that 311? Yeah. My, my mind depends on art, food, and Garfield comics. Okay. And, and a lo well, not the Garfield comics, but mostly the, you know, art and food. Yeah, I'm down with there in the mindscape. And 
and politics lately and the news and the ongoings in the world and 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 the different type of nuances in the world it's like I, I love watching about aliens and Atlantis and yeah man you know all that beautiful bean footage and then documentaries on movies and Tom Savini <laughs> Tom Savini yeah or watching scary movies and stuff that's where my mind is it's not on all that stupid drama stuff. It's a lot better not being on that drama stuff and having your mind consumed with the art and food and video games and all that other stuff that that is actual pleasure instead of staying miserable and purposely getting yourself angry. Marmaduke Comics. Ignorance is bliss. I stay ignorant. Same. I just I just go with what I'm interested in. in. I love Calvin and Hobbes. It's so cute. I used to have a uh, a big book of Calvin and Hobbes uh, comics, and um, what what and uh, oh Fritz the cat. You remember Fritz the cat? Fritz the cat birthed so many furries. I swear to God. <laughs> oh shit! I know Fritz the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love those comments. The cat, his one eye's big and another one's small, and he's like, What the fuck is my doing with my own life? That's me. I'm Fritz the cat. My hair is almost similar to Fritz, too. Let me, to the people who don't get the reference of who Fritz the cat is, I'm going to put a picture on the screen. Let me just steal a picture. You're not doing good, my peanut butter. I gotta ask the doctor about, like, do I have Lyme disease? This right here is Fritz the Cat. And it was obviously an adult comic, but a hilarious comic. Oh, it was only two ninety five back in the day? Wouldn't that be nice if comics were that cheap again? Yeah, it'd be great. Not the dribble we have now. It is dribble. It's fucking madness. Yeah, it's crap. I don't like <laughs> comics. I like old X-Men comics. Your partner showed you a clip from Fritz the Cat a week ago? Oh, that's awesome. look up Levi who's Levi oh she has a YouTube channel because she was in a troubled teen industry okay you remember Ziggy yes I used to watch I, I used to love the comics when we used to get the paper Back in the day. Yes, kids. Back in the day, we used to have this thing made of paper. And it used to have all the news in it. And then in the middle of it was, com was like, cartoons for that you read. Yeah. And you used to laugh that way. That's that stuff doesn't even exist anymore. It was, like, memes, but on paper. <laughs> oh, okay. Heck yeah to Dilbert, dude. <laughs> Comic strip. Exactly. Cool. It's crazy to think that ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs were just ancient memes, ancient alien shit. Wow. If you think about it, that's true. They were like fucking memes. Yeah. That was their way of making memes. It's old. The internet pages, but someone printed them out. Genius. I know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait until you have to explain what a typewriter is. I know. What? But how does autocorrect work on this thing? <laughs> 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 I'm starting over. <laughs> Hap 
Happy Hanukkah, Cuzzy Bonkers. Gonna watch any Christmas movies today? We should. Let's do. Let's do the Star Wars today. The Star Wars Hollywood uh, holiday special. You can find that on YouTube, by the way. I don't know. Last time you just were not into it. No, I wanted to stream though. Oh. Okay. Did someone just come to our? It's mail. Ooh, can we see what kind of big fucking plump thing of mail we got right now? Oh I gotta show it to the people. I'm going to prove to you it's every fucking day. Honey, I think you're mistaken. I didn't see any or hear anybody. I did. Okay. I love the Star Wars Christmas special. It's so cursed. It is. <sighs> it is, and it's trippy as shit when you're high. It's great high. I recommend watching it probably high or drunk. <sighs> Speaking of which, I'm going to ask for some donations. You can go to my PayPal, Shanny Needs Love, or my Cash App. I'm going to put my Cash App right here. Nothing? No. Oh, okay. If you would like to donate me, donate to me, or Shani Dorn, please do. Who is my favorite Scooby-Doo character? Probably Shaggy. He's my type of dude. Shaggy. Zoink. Zoink! Like, Freddy is too much of a fucking prep. I always liked the, the bull haircut of the girl with the glasses. Daphne? Daphne, yeah. I always liked Daphne. For some stupid reason. I don't know why. I, I, favorite Scooby-Doo monster. I don't have that much memory to that. Neither do I. There, there's so many of them. Yeah, it's bland. They're like, could be just ghosts. Like, yeah, you're just there for the, if it wasn't for you damn meddling kids. <laughs> right? What? If it wasn't for you damn meddling kids, that's what everyone was waiting for at the end of the show. Oh, okay. The, at the end of the show. Yeah. Okay. I watched Scooby-Doo because I thought Scooby was funny. Huh? I do too. It's really good high. I don't know that. Wow, he knows all about the freaking Scooby-Doo, man. He's like, not all the monsters were ghosts. You had the Creeper and Charlie the Finland Robot. Funland mo Robot. Okay, Charlie the Funland. I don't think I've seen those episodes. There's a lot of Scooby-Doo. I mean, I remember the Swamp Dude and... Oh, hi, Guatemala. What? Hey, girl. Hi, baby. Hello. How well, baby girls? Oh, oh. I got you. You got this. I got you. Oh, 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 oh
Yes. You love that. I do. I think every girl really did. I like anything with rainbows and sparkles and flowers. Of course. You need to pick up some aftershave, bro. Fuck did my phone go? It has disappeared. The ghost got it, man. Was that an it under the table? No. No. <gasps> there it is. That is it. Holy crap. Ha ha. That is it. I have spotted the beast. My little pony girl. Fans mock her. Oh my god. Stop it. Merry Christmas, Jonar. Happy Festivist. For the rest of us. You you buy aftershaves for each other? That's so cute. Mm. Did I do more thinking I'm moving, huh? Jonar requests that we play Cuphead together. That's going to be kind of hard. Yeah, since we don't own Cuphead. Not anymore. Not right now. No. Someday we could play that. William has the Xbox, so. Well, that's his. Yeah. Which means he has Cuphead. Yeah, but I think it's digital, though, so if we yeah. have an Xbox, we could play it. Yeah. We don't have an Xbox. Dude, I do stream games, yeah. I just haven't been doing them lately. Yeah, man. He's got he's got the nice new Xbox. Yeah. It's really nice. Well, it's a, it's an Xbox One. It's really nice. It's nice. It's a good system. So he's happy. It's not brand new. Hi, baby. There's the boy. Hi, baby. And he's got his socks on. Hi, baby. My Gavi. My prince. Come here, baby. But but daddy's lying down, which means I have to cuddle him. But uh, watermelon's there, so she'll bite me. I don't think she'll bite me. He, he, he's thinking, where should I go? Like, I don't know where to go. Should I go to mommy or daddy? It's like, I'll go to daddy. Hi, Gav. He was comfy here and I had to get up. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gav. I got my boyfriend's daughter a skull cap, all chrome. Oh, cool. That is cool. You're surrounded by pussy. the stream bro just watching watermelon flew for tail yeah <laughs> a <blue> <laughs> this is a great image though dude okay <laughs> i believe you This is for memory's sake, man. This is great. We should clip this and put this on your channel. I guess so. 
Why? It's like the greatest thing ever. The Kit Kats are cuddling you. <laughs> not everything has to be streamed I mean. true but this is a beautiful moment okay. of, of you and bliss with your Kit Kats that's true I used to be allergic to cats yeah stained glass windows his grandfather made those Great-grandfather, sorry. His great-grandfather made those windows. Yeah. Harvey. Yep. It's beautiful. Awesome. When is Rev going to do his... When he's ready to, when he wants to. Yeah, I'm just... I'm very bleak on the future right now. And I don't want to be a downer. No. I don't want to be like, oh, folks, things are so bad. Like, I don't want to do that. No. It's depressing. Baby. It is. I just want to be with Gavin, want to know you and Shannies. Oh, baby. And have love. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Let's I want all the loves. Let's just have loves, baby. That's all I want. I want loves. Yeah. And cuddles, and we have our medication. Or... Love, cuddles, medication. Just, yes. just try to be comforted. Foods. Foods. <laughs> Just be comfortable. Exactly. Oh, thank you, Tartarus. <laughs> Those babies. They're sweet. They're all loving on Daddy right now. Yeah, it's love fest. I'm very flattered that I get the love. How does that make you feel, though? Very good. They're Having healing. the babies. They're animals that heal. They are. They really do heal you. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Ted. Ew. Yeah, I'm going to get off this, actually. It's it's getting worse outside, so I think we're just going to have to get to the store before it gets bad. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my 24-hour stream. Yeah. Later, guys. Oh, Bobbies. Here's, here's.